Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining the California Department of Insurance today for our workshop discussion concerning catastrophe modeling and insurance. The purpose of this discussion is to provide all interested stakeholders an opportunity to present statements or comments regarding the contemplated regulations. My name is Lucy Wang, and I'm the Deputy Commissioner for the Office of Special Counsel at the California Department of Insurance. I'd like to advise all parties that this meeting is being recorded. By participating in these proceedings today, you consent to this recording. Today is Tuesday, April 23rd, 2024, and the time is now 2.02 o'clock. The purpose of this workshop is to provide stakeholders with an opportunity to present statements or comments regarding the draft regulations. This workshop is a continuation of Insurance Commissioner Ricardo Lara's ongoing efforts to address the risks associated with climate change and to explore strategies to protect consumers while managing such risks. Commissioner Lara's sustainable insurance strategy is focused on solutions that will allow us to better manage risk given these continued threats so that we can safeguard the integrity of the insurance marketplace while protecting California consumers. The department has sought to understand how the use of catastrophe models in rate making will impact insurance availability and affordability over time and how the department can ensure the integrity of model projections upon implementation. We are now going to open this conversation up to the public and hear from those who wish to provide comments. Carl Sussman. Hi there, Carl Sussman. Thank you, Lucy. Uh, well, you know, it, it's a crazy day when we've got consumer watchdog trying to be more like Florida. Anyway, um, we're here for catastrophe modeling. Catastrophe modeling, it's based, it's the rigorous analysis of the potential financial consequences of a loss. It, it combines meteorology, engineering, statistics, financial theory. It's all to create simulations of catastrophic events and their potential financial losses. In the past, all that was available was to just predict future events by looking at the past. And we know even the, as they say in the world of finance that uh, past performance does not uh, equate to future results, but that was what we had to work with. So now with the help of massive data models, which is just a fancy way of saying we've kept really good track of what's happened in the past, along with highly sophisticated computers, decades of research by engineers, mathematicians, scientists, computer scientists, all the, the big brains, there's a better way to predict future catastrophic events. And yes, it's called catastrophe modeling. And spoiler alert, this is not really that new. The whole world, the entire industry has been utilizing these systems to predict losses for years. Even here in California, it's used to predict earthquakes, underwriting and rating, and literally every state in this country, except for California, utilizes this type of forecasting as part of their underwriting and pricing. Even the feds take advantage of catastrophe modeling for flood insurance risks, and that includes floods in California. We've seen rates go up on flood insurance, by the way, not because of catastrophe modeling, but because there's only the National Flood Insurance Program. There's no competition to it other than some independent companies. So you can't have a false equivalency and compare what catastrophe modeling does for flood versus what it would do for an entire industry running property. So understand, this is catastrophe modeling. It's not AI taking over. It's nothing secret or black box like, like people keep trying to make this case for. All of these things have to be disclosed to the Department of Insurance and Insurance Commissioner. This is the person, once again, that we have put in charge of looking over these things. So while you're not allowed to share your secret sauce with your competitor, you do have to share your secret sauce with the insurance commissioner. And the voters put the insurance commissioner in charge, and we will let the insurance commissioner do his job to be sure that the, these modelings and these processes are being utilized properly. To the extent, this is also a benefit to consumers because it's going to be a better place for them to be able to find out what their actual risk is, not just a general area, but their individual risk profile which is a good thing. This is going to enable consumers to be able to turn around and make changes to their homes and do things to try and make it less likely to burn. All of these things will come because they have the ability to be forecasted, predicted, and that information will be communicated to the consumers. And if they're looking to have a lower premium, they'll do things to make their home less likely to burn. So to the insurance commissioner, I ask you, please follow the data, follow the facts, and let's use all of the best tools we have available to get consumers the best insurance options and coverage that's available. Thank you.